uh, starting with Japan, number one. Number two, it's going to be oil. And number three, U.S. equity market sediment. Uh, first on Japan, you know, we've been signaling this, and Darius Dale did a fantastic research call on this, again, signaling the propensity or the probability and propensity of Japan stock market to go up in burning yen terms. So, again, uh, yen down equals Japanese stock market up. We call it the Weimar Nikkei for that reason. No, we don't think that things in Japan economically are good, but no, we don't think economies and stock markets are the same thing either. So that's what that is. Japan signals immediate term trade over bot last night up 1.2% on the on the Weimar Nikkei to 17,854 as the yen tests the low end of our immediate term risk range, which is currently 118 and a half to 121. Uh, point number two is oil this morning. Again, yesterday you got the bounce in Russia, you got the bounce in oil, and then they go right back down. Uh, so you look at oil down one and a half percent this morning to 56 on WTI. No support to 52 spot 87. So in other words, that's the probable level that it goes to. And on the bounce, I don't have anything more than just north of 59. So again, I've said this you know six ways to Sunday, but again, 59, 69, 79 oil. I mean, a lot of companies can't pay their dividend and or service their debt. Uh, at that level, so again, or at least not in the terms that people thought that they could. So again, look at oil as the epicenter of the risk that we call the deflation. Finally, U.S. equity market sediment. The risk range on the VIX is currently 13.17 to 24 spot 35. Now that is wacky wide. At the low end of the range in volatility, you do what? You sell. At the high end, you do what? You buy. We've done this over and over again. That's the process. Another way to look at sediment is the II bull bear spread. Uh, bulls are, are basically 3,800 basis points wider than bears. So, again, it's not the all-time high in U.S. equity market sediment. It is the all-time high in the S&P 500, but it's pretty close to the all-time high in sediment. Look at the risk ranges. Look at these ideas. We have plenty of them in real-time alerts currently. And those are your top three things.